All right, this your brother Dawada coming to you with another lesson. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh, Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring in this truth worldwide. Yeah, uh, so I was watching this video that the elder from Dallas, Elder Yashawamba, had uh, shared this morning, and it's from GMS Endure, Alaska, 40, 144. And it's about these guys who bring in weapons to what uh, to camp, man. As you can see, uh, this guy has a has a pistol on his hip, right? And what that really shows, man, is the lack of faith, man. You got one body and saying, saying your house shot didn't do miracles, you know, saying that you need to uh, prep and save food and rice and beans and water. Well, that shows a lack of faith, man. And your house shot. You know, he, he went into that, right? This is um, Luke 18. I'm going to start at verse 6. And the Lord said, Hear what the unjust judge saith, and shall not Yahweh avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? And though he bear long with them, I tell you, he will avenge them speedily. See, Yahweh by Shem is going to avenge us, right? It says, Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth, right? So these things were already prophesied by our Savior, Yahweh Shai, where he find faith on this earth, man. And, and that really shows a lack of faith, man. It really shows that you're carnally minded, man, right? And what carnally minded is to, is to be deaf, man. To have a carnal mind is to be deaf, man. This is Romans chapter 8 I'm going to start at verse 5 for they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh right well obviously this guy's mind the things of the flesh man obviously he 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 don't he has a lack of faith it says but they that are after the spirit the things of the spirit for to be carnally minded is death but to be spiritually minded is life and peace, right? Because the carnal mind is enmity with the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of the Most High, neither indeed can be, okay? So then they that are in the flesh cannot please your heart, right? They that are in the flesh can't please the Most High God, man. Are you you bringing guns to camp, man. You think that uh, it's all good. No, it's not all good, man. It really shows a lack of your faith, man. And then this is what Yahweh Shah told us, man. We got to be harmless. As, uh, let me get it. I don't want to butcher it. Uh, I think it's Matthew 10. Start at uh, verse 5. These 12 Yahweh Shah sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any city of the Samaritans enter ye not, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, right? And as ye go, preach, not as ye go antagonize, cuss out, as ye go, preach, saying the kingdom is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils, Freely ye have received, freely give. Provide neither gold, nor silver, nor brass in your purses, nor script for your journey. Neither two coats, neither shoes, nor yet stays. Stays, man, stays are weapons, man. Right? For the workman is worthy of his meat. I'm going to jump down. Right? Because you don't supposed to have any stays, man. Stays are weapons, man. Verse 15, Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable in that land. Let me jump down. Verse 16, Behold, I send ye forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. Supposed to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Obviously, this guy on, on, 
on, on, on the screen is not wise as a serpent. He's definitely not harmless as a thug bringing weapons to Kent, man. You both to present your body as a living sacrifice, man. You can't be scared of what's, what's, uh, what's a waste for you out there, man. You both have enough faith that the Most High got you covered, man. Right? This is Romans chapter 12 and verse 2. Be ye not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Obviously, the mind haven't been renewed, man. That ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of Yahweh, right? Well, obviously, that, that mind hasn't been changed, man. And the scriptures tell you, you got to come as a little child for your mind to be changed, right? And, and and it really shows a lack of faith, man. You know, Elisha <clears throat> had his eyes open. And Lord willing, we'll get that he had his eyes open to let him know, man, that that uh, it was more with them than uh, than was against them, right? This is uh, Philippians chapter 2, verse 14. Do all things without murmuring and disputing that ye may be blameless and harmless. Let's read that again. That ye may be blameless and harmless, ye sons of Yahweh, without rebuke in the midst of a crooked and perverse nation, right? Among whom ye shine as lights in the world, all right? Amongst whom ye shine as lights in the world, man. Because we got to understand, man, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, right? Let's get that. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. This is 2 Corinthians 10. And I'm going to start at 3. For we walk in the flesh. We do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through your power to the pulling down of strongholds. Okay? Our weapons are not carnal, man. And let's let's go ahead and get that account. And then I'm going to close it out. Is your lack of faith shows forth, man, when you out there on the highways and byways bringing out the word, man. Right? You know, he said he got his angels and cap around about you. Matter of fact, let me get this first. Because you're not trusting in the most high, man. You're trusting in your own self. This is Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, with all thy heart. And lean not to thine own understanding, right? Well, these guys obviously are leaning to their own understanding, not trusting the Most High God with all the mind, right? Let's get that account. This is First Kings, Salaki, Second Kings, chapter six, and we will start at verse fifteen. And when the servant of the man of Yahweh was risen really early and gone forth, behold, a host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Okay? And Elisha prayed and said unto Yahweh, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Most High opened his eyes, opened the eyes of like of the young man, and he saw, and behold, a mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. All right? Well, it be more with us than with them, man. Lord willing, this lesson has been edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, by Hashem, Rakadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, great millstone. Much respect to the brothers labored in this truth worldwide. In sincerity and truth with all faith. To wake up the elect of the children of Israel. Till the next time I say, Shalom.